here. I just wanted to go over SWR have, um, and just a very basic uh, adjustments that can change things. So right now I'm just on AM. I'm actually going out on the uh, on the air with this to test this antenna for SWR. Now this is the internal SWR built into the uh, 7300 here. Um, so I'm going to just go ahead and key up real quick and get done with this so it doesn't cause too much interference on the band. Um, as you can see, we don't even have any reflect. Uh, we're down, uh, not even a bar on this SWR meter. And uh, let's see what we have. Power going out. Uh, we're 92% uh, output of nine uh, of 100 watts. So that's a pretty good uh, scale there to be able to do a measurement of uh, SWR with a high power or at least uh, 100 watts or close to 100 watts going into it. And I'm going to show you what the, uh, what the position of the antenna is outside in my vehicle. This is a mobile antenna that I just have ran through and uh, I'll show you that in just a second. You see the antenna is actually right uh, inside the case here. I got the luggage rack here and there so right in there is uh, I was thinking that this SWR would be different but uh, yeah that's actually good uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick adjustment and uh, move it up to the front here and I'll show you exactly what, what happens here uh, so and uh, just to show this going into coil right there we have a decent amount of wraps there and then this is actually the stock uh, length that I have uh, going up to the antenna there but yeah it's in between there I was figuring that would ground out so we have to move that so I'm going to adjust that right now and show you exactly where uh, I'm going to get it outside the cage so I'll put it uh, put it right there all right so we're st still have that coil and uh, we're just tracing this back and around down and uh, what I did is I moved it to the front there you see we're not in the cage any longer um, this one's actually straight outside so it's pretty pretty decent to be able to get uh, SWR let's go see inside because we're not in that cage any longer okay, so, oh we got a little something in the way all right so we got it back inside here um, hopefully you'll be able to hear what I said basically I took it outside the cage um, those luggage racks um, so I was figured you know that maybe that's a uh, gonna cause an issue and look at that all of a sudden now we have we're almost uh, if we start modulating we're actually gonna get uh, more than uh, what's on there uh, we got here one two three four five. we got about five bars on there and the modulating we're almost at uh, 1.5 causes an issue once we get into uh, putting higher power through that antenna so let's go ahead and move that back and verify everything's good and I'm not doing anything minus uh, relocating the antenna I have not changed the adjustment of the whip whatsoever so uh, let's go ahead move that back I'll show you where it, where it's located and uh, go from there all right Originally, and we'll put it right back to uh, the location in between here but the, uh, I was in between these two luggage racks and I decided to move it up to the front of the vehicle and that did not uh, dot work as you could tell so we'll put it right back that's the only adjustment I've done the, uh, in the cage really is what I call that I thought it would be an issue so okay. now that it we're back inside and uh, basically re-put or put the uh, relocated the uh, the unit and we're going to go ahead and look at this SWR now it's back to the original location between the cages and that's pretty much center of the vehicle so uh, yeah we're we're um, gonna leave it right there I was thinking uh, I'd get it outside of that and it would uh, be better for the antenna um, but center of the vehicle without adjusting anything um, yeah that's pretty much a good location so I'm gonna go ahead and leave it there uh, good ground plane all around um, and it's about the best you place you could put your antenna so we'll get uh, get back on the air and uh, hopefully talk to y'all in a video but uh, hopefully even better instead of using the comments that uh, I get to talk to y'all on the air all right 73 from uh, world radio 1200 international sidebenders 1200 and um, 
worldwide sidebender. Sorry about that. Uh, Twelve hundred. So. Uh, Hopefully catch you on the air, and if you do, now you know exactly what I'm working with. 73.